When it's just you, well, times can be tough. Dear Diary, today I donated plasma for the last time. Well, at $70, so I don't feel it is worth my time or discomfort to continue past today. The app says my next visit would pay $47, just over half of what they were paying me. And the most I could make is $51 twice a week. So I really think since I really don't like needles, this will be the last visit. With this money, we were able to take care of a couple things. First was lunch. Second, some vape cartridges. And third, some two by three dimensional lumber to redo the plywood tank before it's past the point of no return. I don't trust just the plywood and screws to hold this monster together. So I will build a frame out of two by three studs to ensure its rigidity. Today, my boys decided to head to the mountains instead of head over here to help me get the lumber and unload it. But my beautiful wife graciously agreed to help me with these tasks. So we headed to Lowe's and picked up 13 two by three by eight foot white wood studs, loaded them in the little truck that could and headed home. We unloaded the lumber onto my sawhorses in the driveway but I think we will move them into the garage before it gets dark. It is Halloween after all, and I really don't want any kids messing with my wood in the middle of the night. Next, we got to work disassembling the initial plywood tank build. I plan to build the frame of the tank trim the plywood down to fit inside the frame and then attach it from the inside so there's no chance of screws poking through. There's little chance of it anyways since I am using two inch number eight construction screws but better safe than sorry. For those of you that don't know dimensional lumber is actually smaller than it says it is. A two by three is actually one and a half by two and a half inches. Similarly a two by four is one and a half by three and a half inches. With that understood, let me explain what I plan to do with this lumber. I will stand it up on its narrow side on the tops and bottoms, split halfway on and off the edge of the plywood bottom, this will make three quarters inch lip around the outside of the tank and still allow for the strength I desire. This way, when I finally wrap the stand, I can put a small piece of trim on the top to meet up with the bottom of the tank, making it almost seamless. So, with the tank taken apart, I will wait till tomorrow, cut the 2x3s to the correct lengths, and who knows, I might even do some framing. Either way, I will end today's entry into my diary of a fish keeper until tomorrow. Please share, like, and subscribe. And just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.